everyone, it's April with Hair 101 and I am excited because my niece is here and she is my number one fan. She watches most of my cutting videos constantly, right? And she's always wanted to be in one, so today her dream is coming true. And she has long, beautiful hair and she wants to chop it off to her chin. And so we're going to do a graduated bob. Or, or maybe just a bob. Do you want a graduated bob or just a bob? Um, bob? Just a bob? Okay. So we are going to do a bob haircut on her. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that the hair is clean and combed through. And so we've done that already. And then we're going to just part the hair at her natural part. And the best way to do that is to pull it straight back and then just to push it forward. That's where we part your hair, huh? Just a natural soft part right there. All right, and so now that we have the natural part established, we want to center it up towards the back of her head. So I'm gonna go from her center part and then bring it to the center of her head right at the top before it starts to roll down. And then we will go straight down the middle and the back so that this will help us keep all of the sides even to have it straight down the middle in the back. How old are you, Catalina? Four. You're four? Oh, you're doing so good. She even looks down when I tell her to look down. Awesome. You got a bump on your head. Did you fall down? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. So comb the sections to the side and that will help keep them out of the way. So her hair is pretty thin and fine. And so when we chop this off to her shoulder length, it's going to make it feel a lot thicker. And I think that's what we're trying to do. And also it's been getting really tangled because it's so fine and thin when she had it so long. So now that it's combed out and parted, I'm just going to take a small section down at the bottom. All right, so now we're going to comb this hair flat against her head and use a good amount of tension. And we're going to go right down. And you can use one or two fingers. Okay, look down. And hold still right there. We're going to bring it right down to there because that's where her hair starts to grow. And we're just going to take that and cut it straight off. And we're going to be pushing it all the way in to the shape of her neck. All right, now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And you want to make sure you get centered with the back hair. Keeping it wet helps too because it lets you see exactly what's going on. And you want to make sure that it's about the same length on both the sides. If it's a little bit long in one spot, you just trim it up. Alright, so we're going to take the next section down and I'm going to work on this right side first. Okay, you can look straight for a minute. Doesn't that feel good? Okay, now look just a little bit down. Right there, okay? 
We're going to just follow the guide on that section. Right there. Good job, Catalina. You're holding so still. Your hair is going to be so pretty. So make sure you can see your guide underneath to know exactly where you're supposed to be cutting. If you can't see your guide, then put half the section back and do a smaller section. But if you can see your guide, then you're good. Good girl. And I am trying to give her a little bit more length in front just because her mom might want to do something with it, like a little side braid or something. So the more length we live back there, the little bit easier it is to put it up and stuff for her braids. Right, Catalina? Because you still want to do fun things, huh? And I'm going to do this back section on the right all the way until the top of the roll, like the top of the head. And then I will stop because I want to do the sides at their natural fall. And that would be more over here. So I'm just going to stay. Oh, don't do that. I'm just going to stay back here and cut everything that needs to be cut from this natural fall down this way. Okay, look down. Perfect, right there. Good job, Catalina. This will be my last section on this side until we move to the front. So we're going to pull all this down. Okay, so now we're going to go on this side and do the same thing. Okay, look down. And I'm going to part a little bit of this top hair away just so that I can see what's going on underneath a little bit better and match these up. It's not as big of a difference from the guides. Okay, look down just a little bit. There you go. Right there. Two fingers seems to be holding it a little bit tighter. I want to make sure that the angles match the other side. Okay, look down for me. Okay, look down. There you go. Right there. Hold still for one little bit. this around. I was pulling it a little bit too far this way and so it's a little bit longer on this side so I'm going to make sure that I'm just going straight really quick and clean that up a little bit more. It's really easy to mix up these angles a little bit. Okay, tell your head this way so I can see in here a little bit better. She's got a little neck so it's a little bit harder to work on kids. You're doing so good. Look down here. Is it hurting your neck? Yeah? Okay, we'll try to be fast. Okay, look up for a little bit. Let me massage your neck. Oh yeah, does that feel better? Okay, look down again. There we go. Looking down though. 
All right, so now that we have the back in, just gonna make sure that it looks even. And she has a little bit of curl in her hair. And that might affect the line a little bit, so I'm gonna just adjust it if it needs it. Okay, look down again. All right, look straight in the mirror now. Okay, so now that we have the back established, we're gonna go ahead and move to the sides. So I'm gonna go, ugh, I can't even talk. So I'm gonna do this side first. Okay, so we're gonna take a section like this. All right, so now we're going to push it against, here, you gotta tilt your head like this a little bit. There you go. And hold really still, focus on that. So now that we have the ear here that, that causes a little bit of problem because it pokes out. So now we're going to comb the hair and go all the way down, give it a little tap above her ear to loosen that up again. And we're going to follow that line and just meet it up there. And then right here on the front pieces, I am going to direct them back a little bit because I want to make sure that they stay a little bit longer, like I said, and I think it gives it a really pretty shape. She's really falling asleep. This is hilarious. All right, same thing. We're gonna tilt your head away a little bit so that we can get in this neck area. Push it down and follow the little guide that we need made down there. There you go, good job, Kat. And then right here, we're just gonna tap above the ear a little bit, loosen up that tension. And then we're gonna direct this back a little bit just to give her some length around her face. And cut at an angle, hold still. Do you need a drink or something, Catalina? Mm -mm. No? Okay, look straight. There you go. Hold still, Catalina. You gotta hold still, you gotta stay awake. Is it because you stayed up so late last night going to Bear Lake on the tube? Mm -hmm. Did you get on the tube? Mm -hmm. No, were you too scared? Oh my goodness, how come? Mm -hmm. How come you were too scared? Because last time I fell I lost the tube. But I got on the tube once when we did it. We played in YouTube mm -hmm. and it was too high. <laughs> Catalina, <laughs> okay. It was too high? Too, too, it was too um, hard to stay on. I was hanging on so tight and one had a hole. Mm -hmm. Look how short your hair is. <laughs> Should we do the same on this side, or do you want one long, one short? Short. Uh, both short. Okay. Okay. You got to stay awake, though, okay? Okay. <laughs> you silly girl. And this is the thicker side, because we parted it a little bit more towards the other side. Or, yeah, it's more hair over here, so. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tilt her head away and use my two fingers and just... Tuck it in all the way to her neck and use that guideline that we have. I'm going to look different. You are going to look different. Do you think your friends are going to know who you are? No. Uh-uh, they're not. What are they going to say? Who's that new girl? I'm going to tell I just got a haircut. Okay, let's do it. Okay, tilt your head right there and hold still. Oh, don't try to look in the mirror. There we go. Is 
And then we're going to grab another section. Making sure that we sweep it away from the face a little bit on this side too so that it matches the other side. And last section is this little chunk for her front. And we're gonna make sure on this one that we're going across the face and not straight down. If you cut it all straight down, when you do sweep it where she's gonna wear it, it will be shorter and it will have a little short piece and then longer. So we're making sure that we bring that all the way over here to where we were cutting the rest of it. Still, can you sit up straight and then tilt your head away? Okay, good job right there. There we go, now I have a little bit more neck to work with instead of all on the cape. So now you can go through and just kind of comb everything down and if you see any pieces that are a little bit longer as they're laying naturally, you can go through and just clean those up. This is a good place to check for anything over the ear since it kind of pokes out. Even it up a little bit. So now I'm just gonna go through and check the perimeter while combing the hair in a few different directions, taking some hair from a little bit more forward, back, and if there's anything that meets this line, I'm gonna take it off. And you can see the guide pretty easily. It's just a matter of evening it out. And I do. You look so pretty. <laughs> this is really slippery. Linoleum with hair on it is like, I'm going to fall. <laughs> so we are done with her really basic bob haircut and we are going to blow dry it now. Do you love it? Yeah. My goodness, I love it. Don't you look cute? Do you like it? Is this gonna be funner to brush at night? Do you love it? Do you think it looks good on you? I think it looks so good on you. Look how pretty your face is and how happy she is. There's her spin. Oh, and if you guys love this cute little girl and want to see some more of her, she's been on my vlogs lately. So go and check out my April's Life channel. There's going to be a link somewhere. Click on it and go and check it out so that you can watch all of the fun we're having. We are living with these guys right now and we're going to be doing lots of haircuts on them while we live with them and having lots of fun. So check out our vlog and Thanks guys, give me a thumbs up and make sure you share these videos so that we can keep growing and keep making videos and keep learning together because I've been learning a lot throughout this too. Um, thanks guys, love you all, bye.